It's getting to that time of year when the days are starting to get longer, which means that the chickens are just about to start laying a lot of eggs. When you work really hard to grow your own food, it's really important to use up every bit of food and not waste it. So today, I'm going to show you the top five things that I do with a lot of extra eggs. Eggs are a seasonal product when you're growing your own, which means that sometime of the year you have a lot of eggs and other times of the year you don't have so many. So what are you supposed to do with all of the eggs when spring hits and all of a sudden the chickens are laying like crazy? Well, here are my five tips. The first one is just to plain old eat more eggs. Eat more for breakfast, Think of eating eggs for dinner, maybe even an omelet for lunch. It's a great way to get more eggs into your diet and use them up. My second tip is to store them in common storage. Now common storage would just be a root cellar or any other cool space that you can find. This might be a pantry shelf or a cool closet or maybe even a shelf on the basement. Make sure when you're putting your uh, eggs into a carton for storage that you always keep the large end up. This is going to help them to last the longest. But eggs stored in a cool place like this can last up to six months and still be great fresh. Tip number three is to start using your eggs in a lot of egg rich recipes. Things like French toast casseroles, custards, and bread puddings are a great way to use up a large amount of eggs and to disguise them so that your family doesn't get tired of eating so many eggs. Tip number four is to preserve your eggs in a preservable food. Things like preserving your eggs in alcohol, as is the case for an aged eggnog, or making noodles that you can dehydrate and keep on your shelf are a great way to turn your eggs into a food that you can eat later and store them for later at the same time. Tip number five is a really big one for me and I use this tip all the time and that is preserving your eggs for use when you don't have very many fresh eggs. Now, you can preserve your eggs in a ton of different ways, including preserving your eggs in lime, like I'm doing right here. That way you can eat your eggs in those times where you don't have many. And that's where I'm really excited to introduce you to Homesteading Family's latest class, the Preserving Eggs Mini Class. In this class, I'm gonna teach you 10 different ways to preserve eggs both including modern ways like freeze drying and freezing your eggs and old fesh fashioned off-grid methods like liming your eggs, salt curing eggs, and a lot more. There's also a ebook on Homesteading Family's favorite, top favorite egg recipes. So you can use up all of those eggs in some great egg recipes. And of course, the class has a complete guide and workbook. All right, here we go. There we have it. Now these eggs are ready to go on the shelf and sit there until I need them in this upcoming winter. Check out the mini class in the link in the description. We'll see you there.